Hey guys, it's Bia here. So today we're back with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video on uh, the Textilepedia. And today we're going to be sh uh, talking about the Fashionpedia. So I made sure that the other video wasn't too long and that you guys can enjoy without getting bored. So I really enjoyed looking at the Textilepedia. If you're just clicking on this video and you haven't seen the other one, make sure you click on that one. I'll leave the link in the, in the cards and in the description. Uh, we're just going to jump right into this don't forget like, don't forget to share like subscribe all the good stuff and we're just going to get started with this video so fashionpedia as i said before we have the fashionary little thing that came inside so you can have like a little bookmark and they give us the resources so the fashion resources online resources and they at the back they kind of had this thing where they oh can you guys even see showed us what's the contents of the book okay so let's get started let's open this up together and see what this is about so um let's see first page as 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 i said before i love the way they do this like i love the way they um and by the way this video is not sponsored <clears throat> the way they make these books they're so professional so appealing everything is so easy to read i love it so fashionary they kind of tell you a bit of information and they give you the contents as always they have fashion history apparel details accessories textiles manufacturing body and beauty measurements and care and other things at the end and obviously they give you some more information about that so we start here with fashion and the world and um from the 21st century so nothing from before and it kind of gives you um, interesting facts about how women used to dress and uh, kind of they give you little pictures to see how it looks like. They also give you other events which happened at the same time. So it tells us here World War One from 1914 to 1918, because obviously other factors such as political and social factors affect fashion. OK, not only then, but also now. And it also gives us post impressionism. And it tells us, so uh, so ob obviously, as I said, art as well is an, uh, something that impacts fashion. And it very much is something that uh, our fashion designers get inspired by um, at all times. And even then and now, it hasn't changed. Um, so it also tells you when the fashion, like famous fashion houses have started. So Chanel in Prada. Chanel was started in 1909. I didn't know that. So this is just interesting facts. And it tells you like different things that happened at the time bbc started post-war baby boom so many things space age like they give you so much and they even give you different people it talks about marilyn monroe windblown white dress when that was done so it gives you like a perspective on fashion i don't know if you guys can see very clearly i will zoom in when i am putting this later on but uh, it kind of gives you what was happening at the time and things that were important and in so in not only social, economical, even in cinema. It's talking about Michael and uh, cinema and music. Michael Jackson's Thriller, E.T., Extraterrestrial, Pretty Woman. It gives you even movies and stuff. So cool, cool, cool. Lady Gaga. Uh, and her, now 2010s is the rise of slow fashion, which we hope, we really hope happens. We need to take care of our planet. So, fashion style and silhouette. Here we're talking about fashion throughout history. So not only in the last century, but also what's happening way, way before and how women were dressed. This is mostly focused on women from what it looks like. And it even goes back to Egyptian, Elizabethan, so on. Empire, the, the 20s, the Fraper, the Art Deco, so many different styles, so many different times in history and how this affects uh, different... Oh, this is cool. I didn't know about that. Up art. 1970s, punk. So a lot of different fashion styles. Also things from different cultures, such as the Native American dress and kimono, so on folklore. Chinese modern equestrian anyways and then you have the men's style I was about to say same thing and then you have silhouettes so if you're just trying to get inspired and figure out what silhouette you're using for your collection they kind of just tells you everything 
and then apparel this is where they have a lot of flat drawings which i will hopefully use for uh when i'm doing my collections just to make it easier i'll just look at it and see oh this is how they do the details boom 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 gives you different types of uh, garments it goes into detail as to the variations of the garments that exist and it gives you knowledge on them and it gives you uh information about them very cool not only normal styles but they also give you things that are cultural from different countries and how they uh matter and how they're made and so on so different types of jackets they give you a lot like they even give you measurements and how their measurements are done and the sleeve length and the button pocket and this and that so a lot a lot a lot of things and they even look here they're talking about coat lengths so if you ever need to describe uh what type of coat you're making you can just say i have a thigh length coat i have a midi length coat floor length coat so on and so forth so as you guys can see it kind of goes through everything then here we have um we go from tops to skirt again tells you the type of skirt if it's an a line a b line c d which is the fullness of the dress length of dress and things like bust starts waist starts which you guys would know um if you had to do pattern cutting this is very important information so not only for the designing aspect but for pattern cutting it's very important in my opinion although i do advise that pattern cutting books are specifically for pattern cutting and this is definitely not a pattern cutting book so different dresses different things i find this very very informative so far it gives you a lot to be honest for each type of garment even i didn't know there was this many variations so every time you have to describe something you can just come to your book and you can come in um see what it tells you and what it means and how it's measured and what the name is and where it comes from and so on here you even have types of pants as you guys can see it has pants silhouettes so you can see it says it has a slim fit or it has a straight or a baggy or a boot, boot cut or a bell bottom or a flare or a wide leg so it gives you a lot of things also gives you here lengths and what they are called and if it's under bust high waisted and lowest low waisted and so on very very nice i like that a lot now i want to see what else they give us so they give us skirts cool they give us jumpsuits nightwear pajamas <laughs> and bras as well underwear they make sure they cover everything corsets bras all kinds of bras i haven't seen or worn it makes my life seem so boring i only have one type of thing <laughs> different types of uh, panties different types of <laughs> base even men's as well look and then you have the details so it goes into pockets it goes into shirt details and jean details cuffs sleeves which is very nice as well description purposes and even inspiration if you're lacking if you're lacking ideas if you just come here and you say oh i think that that one kind of fits the aesthetic of my project you can just go with that and this can obviously further inform if you're looking for for example if you're looking for a video on youtube how to make a raglan sleeve <coughs> link in the description um you can search it up so you know what that sleeve looks like and it's very cool different types of lapels look different types of jeans details and how they look like and how they're made and pockets and just even the loops of belts even i didn't think about that oh look different types of hats so that's very very cute cool and everything is very well drawn so if you ever want to make something for yourself in terms of making uh technical drawings for them cool i like it scarf types good job uh bandana crochet blah, blah blah even i don't even know it had the <laughs> the um, watches on here so it really has a lot of info types of gems in case you need to communicate to anyone a type of gem you'd have in your um design there you go types of rings oh poison ring anyways and then body piercings and earrings and blah 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 bracelets literally it's like no stone has been unturned 
And then here, it even talks about types of fibers. So if you watched my other video on the Textilespedia, you would have had obviously more information. But here, it looks like it gives you a good overview of how things are made and so on. And what is this man-made fibers? Very cool. And then here you have how you take care of each one in a very easy to understand way. And you... What is this fiber in different languages? Wow, they even give you language types. Wow, I'm impressed. Yarn. Types of yarns. Things are made. Very cool. I, it seems like it has a bit of information from the other book, but in a very um, basic way. And the other one goes into a lot of detail for each one. The one that we showed in the other video. Leather types as well. Very nice. These guys really, really put a lot of effort into making this book. So, definitely. And then they, sh they even talk about which ones are useful for each type of garment. Cool. Manufacturing. So, the design studio and factory. How things work together. Oh, look. That's so cute. Hopefully, one day, my studio will look like that. <laughs> They give you all the knowledge. Look, look, guys. Oh, this is so cool. This is like all my video put into a page. <laughs> what you need as a fashion designer. Pattern cutter. There you go. See, guys, I told you. So, so you guys don't need me anymore. Just buy this book and you won't need you don't need my YouTube channel. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry, you guys. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Pattern making as well. Wow. I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Sewing details. You guys. These, this is amazing. I'm impressed. Types of buttonholes. Types of... Oh my god. I needed this before. And I didn't have it. Okay. Sad. Hook and eye. Different types of hooks. Different types of belt buckles. Wow. Zipper lengths. Zipper types. Embellishments. Z even the, the zipper ends oh my god oh my god okay and how labels are put and where they are put into in clothes very interesting so even packaging branding and so on how things are put together and places in the world for sourcing very cool body and beauty pretty sure he is going to give you body types yep body types face types hair and I really want to wrap up this video because it's getting long already, but yeah. Like even makeup, wow, makeup brushes. Which makeup brush is going to give you what effect? Wow, that's cool. And perfumes and where perfumes can be made from. And wow, fruits, top tones, middle tones, base tones, aromatic composition. If any of you are interested in perfumes as well, it's cool. Measurements. So literally everything you guys need to know. I'm not even going to go deeper into this because, well, it was almost at the end of the book, but wow. And last one, just before I go, care labels. So yeah, guys, I'm absolutely 100% satisfied with all the money I spent. I'm not even like, there's nothing, like there's no complaints about this book. Like there's nothing you can change and there's nothing you can do to make it better. This is amazing. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it um i'm so happy like i was scared of spending my money on it but now i'm like zero zero regrets um there's nothing bad about these books they are absolutely amazing and they um they've just they just done an amazing job so please you guys if you are interested link will be in the description this is not sponsored whatsoever um i literally just bought them because my tutors were suggesting it and i saw adverts on them and I've been interested for a long time. Uh, so go buy them if you're interested. Fashion students, 100%, 100%. You will not regret purchasing these books. They are amazing. Um, and they will stick with you forever and ever. You can literally use them for your whole career. Like, they'll never go... Like, all the information here is literally all you need. Like, all the knowledge you need. Oh, like, I can't even... I have no words. I have no words. <laughs> Plus, they give you a cute little bag. They give me a cute little bag, so... I'm gonna use that bag, definitely. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
this is the books in case you want to buy them and uh i will see you guys next time don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions if you want to know anything if you want me to buy any of the other books because now i to be honest i want to buy their whole sh the whole store and i will see you guys on the next one please please consider buying these books i'm gonna shut up now so i'll see you guys next time